Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our preparatory ground instruction on exercise 15, slips. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing the procedure for doing a number of different types of slips. A very important exercise. It's, uh, you, you might be used to flying an aircraft with flaps, like a Cessna 172 has flaps, but then uh, you might end up flying an airplane sometime without flaps. And so you have to, de uh, you have to increase your rate of descent, let's just say. And uh, you do that by slipping the aircraft. You'll also find yourself slipping the aircraft uh, when landing and across when landing, which you're going to learn about in uh, actually your next lesson or a few lessons from now anyway. So let's get started. First off, uh, we have three types of slips. We have a side slip, a slipping turn, and a forward slip. First off, we're going to talk about the side slip. The side slip is used to maintain the runway center line during a crosswind landing. To do this, we're going to lower the uh, into wind wing with the aileron. So the aileron will correct for drift and we're going to maintain a constant track with the rudder. So the rudder will keep the nose and the longitudinal axis of the aircraft aligned with the runway center line. And then we need to lower the nose to maintain airspeed. So this is what we do in a crosswind landing. And again, we'll, we'll discuss this uh, in a few lessons, but we line up with the runway. We don't wanna get blown off course. So we put the ailerons into the wind, but we need to stay straight. So we apply opposite uh, rudder. To do a side slip, roll the aircraft to a gentle banked attitude into the wind. Keep the longitudinal axes of the aircraft straight using your rudder. Notice the aircraft banked into the wind, but the rudder being deflected in the opposite direction. Next, we have a slipping turn. A slipping turn is used to lose altitude in a turn. So we start a turn with the ailerons. Let's say we're going to the left. So we apply uh, a left uh, control yoke input, but instead of putting applying left rudder, we're going to apply right rudder. Okay, so you can imagine what that does. Uh, now the airplane, it's not going to turn terribly well. It's kind of going to fly straight. So then what we can do is kind of pull back a bit and and have the airplane uh, come around. And we can use this if we're high and we need to uh, line up on final for a uh, for a landing. This is a slipping turn. Roll the aircraft into a banked attitude. Instead of coordinating the turn with the rudder, apply opposite rudder. Notice the ball is to the right, indicating a slip. The third uh, slip we're going to talk about is the forward slip. And often people call a side slip or a forward, a side slip, a forward slip, but technically a forward slip is used for uh, losing altitude, whereas a side slip is used for maintaining a runway uh, center line. So to do a forward slip, you're going to reduce the power. You're going to lower one wing with the ailerons and you're going to maintain a constant track uh, with the rudder along like a certain point, let's say the extended runway center line, and you're going to lower the nose to maintain speed. The difference that you will see between a side slip and a forward slip is that a side slip, the longitudinal axis of the aircraft is aligned with the direction of flight and you are using it to correct for crosswind. Where a forward slip, the longitudinal axis is opposite to the banked attitude. You're flying the aircraft sideways, flying the aircraft sideways increases drag and so you're increasing your rate of uh, descent. Let's take a look at a video. I'm going to demonstrate to you the three different types of slips and see if you can identify uh, the differences uh, between them and, and what happens. A forward slip is used to lose altitude by increasing drag, reduce the power, roll into a banked attitude, and add opposite rudder. Allow the longitudinal axis of the aircraft to deflect to one side. So the uh, slip is a testable flight test item on your uh, rec or private pilot flight test. You're gonna be asked to do a forward slip or a slipping turn. The uh, 
the key thing here is you want to be smooth. Don't just jam on the rudder and let the, you know, have the plane yaw all over the place. Just gently go into a slip. It doesn't have to be too aggressive. And just go in there and uh, and then recover to coordinated flight. There's a chance that the examiner will incorporate this into, let's say, an emergency, like have a, a flapless landing. You could do a flapless landing and then you have to do a, a forward slip to lose altitude or during your forced approach, you may have to do that. So let's review. We have forward slip, side slips, and slipping turns. To do a forward slip, reduce the power, lower the one wing with an aileron, maintain a constant track with the rudder, so you're going to be tracking slightly different direction than the noise is pointing, and lower the nose to maintain speed. A side slip, you're going to lower the interwinged wing with the aileron and maintain a constant track with the rudder, and the longitudinal axis is aligned with the track. Lower the nose to maintain speed. And lastly, a slipping turn, we start a turn with the ailerons and apply rudder towards the up wing and recover by coordinating uh, the turn. That concludes this lesson on slips. We will now discuss uh, takeoffs and landings in our next lesson. Thanks for joining me.